Can you remember the situation after your first Enix Basic training? After you have participated a course and learned some features and functions and maybe some methods as well, but you were really unable to start working because you messed up? I do. After I have participated my first basic trainings a couple of decades ago, I was unable to use the software because I was not trained in workflows and troubleshooting. But why troubleshooting? Our daily business is not to initially build parts. Our daily business is mostly to modify parts, existing elements and informations, warnings and alerts appear which we have not discussed within our trainings. And this is what this video is about. It's about troubleshooting. It's about information, warnings and alerts. Interesting for beginners as well as advanced users. And of course, everything is based on the horizontal modeling solution, which I'm trying to explain within my YouTube channel. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon for BizLearn. Hi and welcome to another episode of my NX Cat Secrets tutorial series. In this video, first of all, I am going to create a typical training part, a turning part, the way it is created in basic trainings and afterwards try to modify some things in order to explain problems that might appear. Before I can discuss information warning and alerts, I will have to create some geometry the way it is usually done in basic courses. So maybe this is a training part you might remember. I will directly start with the revolve and usually in the training I'm explaining some things which I'm not going to do right now. So the first part, the main body is created. Now it's about the creation of holes and details. Usually construction guidelines are saying that details like edge plans and chamfers shall be created in the end. And first of all, I'm trying to follow the construction guidelines and proceed with the hole creation. All right, we are close to finish this exercise, but there are details missing. As I mentioned before, construction guidelines are saying that details shall be created in the end. I'm not going to discuss the reasons. I don't agree to the reasons anymore. Uh, but I'm still going to do it because the first thing after training is usually when you start your design work, reading construction guidelines, of course. Let's use five millimeters. There's a setting we have to do now because you can see the radius here decreases. And there is an overflow solution which you can disable. It's called roll along edge. That's what you have to do when you create the edge blend in the end. And I will need some chamfers as well. All right, here is my construction. Sketch can't be internal anymore, so I will just have to hide it. And usually this can be saved. And within a training, we would now start the next design. Initially, from scratch, a new empty file and create something. But this is not our daily business. Our daily business is different. We usually use to modify things that already exist. And just imagine this part somehow needs to be manufactured. A turning manufacturer is going to call you and tell you, hey, the holes need to be positioned after the details. Just because we are going to use the turning machine in order to create the overall outline here first and afterwards create the holes. It's easier for the manufacturer if you move the details before the holes. 
I guess that's clear. And it seems like you can easily move it because the relation is here, the revolve. As you can see, revolve is highlighted. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this. And this is typically not shown in basic trainings. But, of course, in a BizLearn training, and we offer a training which is called NX Rapid Basics. It's an e-learning video-based. It's seven hours of video material where everything is based on the horizontal modeling strategy. And things like information warning and alerts are also explained within this training because we want you to be able to modify your constructions and understand what is happening thereby. So I did not follow the horizontal modeling principles yet. I was just using Annex intuitively. And that's why the following problems will appear after I drop my elements. That's what I'm going to do. And you can see by the calculation time that there must be something going on. There is a fail and there is a warning, meaning this is an alert like a fail, and this is an alert like a warning. You can see the counterboard hole here is affected, hole position not found, and the hole number two, which is this one, is affected. Parent of the point is either suppressed or modeled away. So let's see what happened here. I mean, the hole is missing here, upon here. It's a fail, it's an error. And here something is missing within the sketch, maybe. I don't know. I do know, but you don't know, probably. Let's try to analyze the situation. Everything is fine until here, until this position. And this one has failed. It's the hole upon here. I'm just going to double click and you can see it's visualized now. It's also processed. The hole is displayed, a preview is displayed and a point is displayed, but some holes were not created. It's one point upon here. Maybe you remember how I have selected. Yes, I have selected the edge, which is no more existing because now there is a chamfer and two new edges. So the original edge, which also the chamfer is referenced to, does no more exist at this timestamp. So how can we solve the problem? I mean, of course, I can deselect and select this edge of my detail. But if you now delete the chamfer in order to maybe replace it by an edge blend, you will have the same problem again. The hole is going to be destroyed. It's not going to be processed. How can we solve the problem? Now you have to remember horizontal modeling is saying that if possible, always select the possibly oldest object. And if I show the sketch here, you can see there are objects we can reference, like the line of our sketch. And that's what I'm going to do. I will have to select the point from the sketch and not this center point here. But therefore, the end point needs to be enabled. And now I can select this one or this one. You can decide. I think this one, the long line, the vertical line makes more sense because the chance of being modified is lower. So I'm going to select this one. And everything is going to work properly. The direction of the hole is still referenced to the face. No problem. I'm going to apply this. First feature is repaired now. Let's have a look at this one. A warning. A fail, by the way, is like we had before, which was concerned by the error message. A fail always appears if something cannot be created, if something is not created anymore, because every reference which is required in order to display the whole is lost. In case of a warning appear, it's a little bit different. Also, references are missing, but still, Annex is able to perform the feature, as you can see here. Let's have a look at the problem. I'm just going to enter the feature here. You can see parent of the point is either suppressed or modeled away. 
And in that case, it's modeled away. But what is the parent of the point? I mean, is it this point? Is it the origin of our sketch? Both in that case. So the parent of this point is the sketch. We should now have a look at the sketch. So I'm going to enter the sketch task. And here you can see no warning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reattach. If reattach is not displayed, you can expand here and enable reattach here. Very important command within the sketch task. So here you see parent of the point, etc., origin, etc. Now just remember, a plane is still defined because the face has not been modeled away here. The vector is still inferred. It's still there. It's not concerning the face because the face does not have any linear geometry on it. But the sketch origin maybe is the problem. Well, I can say it's the problem. There is something displayed. There is something fixed, a fixed point which is used in order to describe the sketch origin is there, but it's no more related to the face as it's been before. Just remember, when we have created this hole initially, there was no detail feature. There were two edges, two circular edges, one here and another one there. And one of them has been used in order to define the sketch origin, but it does no more exist. And you could now just select, for example, this or this edge. But as before, if you delete the edge blend or temper, the same problem will appear again. And this is something that can be avoided easily when following the horizontal modeling principles. So what I'm going to do instead of just selecting something is the following. I'm going to use Invert and define a new position by using the coordinate system, the XY plane of the coordinate system. Now a position is defined, but it's on the wrong side. And I'm just going to do a second click in order to replace only one reference, meaning the plane reference. The other references like sketch origin and horizontal reference are still related to the datum coordinate system. I've just replaced one of them by an additional click on the surface. Via a center mouse button, I can apply my modification and I'm going to finish. Concerning the placement of a sketch opportunity, I have already created a video and published on YouTube, which I'm going to link to the upper right of this video now. I can finish and sketch is repaired, which affects the hole as well. So I can finish this command as well. You can see our problem disappeared, the warning disappeared, and everything works properly. Now we have horizontal references. This is meaning that we can move this downwards without causing any problems, and we can also move it upwards without causing any problems, just because of using horizontal relations instead of just intuitively reusing and concerning edges during our construction. This is what we are showing in our basic trainings in order to make people be able to survive during the daily design modification issues and understanding warnings and alerts like errors or just information. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a little bit longer, but some topics need time in order to be explained. And I guess information warning alerts like errors are important to understand. Let me know your experience in the comment section below. I would be interested. Are you able to deal with warnings or do they even not appear just because you are always following the horizontal modeling principles already? Of course, don't forget to use the like button if you like the video and to subscribe if you want to be updated about new uploads, which usually we are doing two times a week. Have a nice day. Goodbye.